Where is your next concert at? Chicago. And this will be out. So this is a good plug. Next concert at Chicago. Um, and uh, it's March 13th. Okay, we're officially rolling. Everyone, if you're new to this, um, we are live. We're, I'm doing a podcast right now. So we are taking fan questions live. So I'm simultaneously talking to you all. And simultaneously, um, we are doing a podcast right now. And the entire inspiration of the podcast is for me to answer your questions and um, for us to get to know each other a little better. Quick, quick note, you're blocking your face. Entirely. Quick note, I'm blocking my face from a camera, so let me move this. Hold on. Let me go from here. Okay. Yo, Raleigh. Why didn't you sing Looking Like That in Evansville last weekend? Well, Christine, it was because I was playing hard to get. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think we just forgot. Uh, you, who, Molly Johnson, underscore H high, shout out to Molly. Who are the musicians that inspired you in your music writing? Okay, that's a great question. Um, I would have to say, when I was growing up, Molly and all of you, that I listened, my dad um, sang James Taylor and listened to a lot of James Taylor. But then um, in high school, I started getting in, 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 into John Mayer. But it wasn't until a couple years after that that I started I listening to country music because someone introduced me to um, Zach Brown Band. And so I um, fell in love with country music. And from there, I discovered Chris Stapleton, Eric Church, people like that. Um, but I kind of started with like the James Taylors, Eagles, John Mayers, etc. Let's see. Let's keep it going. More questions. Will you have concert in Europe soon? That is a hope. We have been in contact with some people over in Europe to hopefully um, get a tour going on over there. So, yeah. Keep on with the questions, y'all. We are live on a podcast, so keep the questions coming. Um, hi, please give me a shout out. Did you ever think about being an actor? Well, Peyton List slash number one slash fan slash. I never thought about being an actor because in order to be an actor, you have to have talent. <laughs> and, and I don't have talent in acting talent. That is, um, I've never thought about being an actor. I hear that that is a hard game. I mean, living in Nashville and writing songs is a hard game, but I hear going to LA and being a song or being an actor, woo, that's got to be really hard. Ooh, this is a good question. Darcy Walsh, 1230. Shout out, shout you out on the pod, podcast, my friend. Out of all the female country artists, who would be your favorites? Honestly, I think Miranda Lambert is my, fe my favorite female country artist. And um, I love so many of her songs. One of my favorite songs ever is House That Built Me. So let me just say Miranda. Have you ever played the Grand Ole Opry? No, I haven't, but it's one of my dreams. It's on my bucket list. Um, Kaylee Cowan, 08. What got you into country music? Great question, Kaylee. I kind of answered it earlier, but um, I listened to a Zach Brown Band record, and I became obsessed. It was, it was a season... Um, where I was kind of down, I was going through some anxiety, some depression stuff, and Zach Brown, Zach Brown's record, Uncaged, for whatever reason, it doesn't talk about depression or anything, but it just helped me, helped me through that season, and I became obsessed with country music, and I couldn't stop writing songs, um, and that kind of got me into trying to pursue it as a career. Can you sing a song now, please? Phase of me. Well, this is a live podcast, um, and the idea is that is that uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be answering questions for this podcast. Um, I could. Oh, Nick! It looks like Nick's getting my guitar. Maybe Nick. <laughs> I guess I'm going to. I'm literally going to do this right now. Nick, you got to hold this camera. Oh, oh my goodness! Just uh, do the chorus in reverse. Oh my gosh. Look at this, Nick. Nick, you have put me in a predicament. I'm in drop. I'm in drop D tuning. Let's see if this is. Let's see if we can do this. Hold on. Um. 
Phase of Me? You want me to sing Phase of Me live on this podcast? Here we go. Screw it. Here we go. They ain't had no luck with luck. Been living on the run. I've been longing for the life that's in my dreams. Should I walk away? Or should I learn to stay? Is this just another phase of me? Oh, the seasons change When sunshine comes the rain And there goes another phase of me Oh my gosh, Nick just put me on the spot there Nick Silly Nick, you got me into country. Chloe16648, shout out. Thank you. I got you into country. That's amazing. Um, Molly Johnson, not a question, but your voice is unique, which is good and interesting. Well, thank you, Molly. Um, I have one brother, Rura, 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 Ira Rodriguez asks, how many brothers do you have? Everyone, I have one brother. We are both adopted. I am six foot four with brown hair. He is five foot ten with red hair. Little known fact. Will you be coming to Scotland soon? I hope so. Everyone, if you're new to this, we are doing a live podcast right now where you are asking questions and I'm shouting you out on the podcast as I answer your questions. What's your favorite color? Blue. My favorite color is blue. All right, let me scroll down. There's some questions here. Um, oh, someone asks, how do you pour your milk before or after the cereal? Now, this is a great question, one that I'd like to elaborate on. Of course, I put my cereal in first because I'm not a weirdo. I'm kidding. (laughs) No, I mean, I think if I put the milk in first, I wouldn't know how much cereal, or I wouldn't know how much milk to put in because it's based on how much cereal is left in the bowl. So normally I put as much into the bowl as I possibly can. I put some milk in there, eat it down a little bit, put some more milk in there, eat it all the way down till there's just milk left. There's only milk left, then you put more cereal in the bowl. Some people call that a cereal problem. I call myself a cereal killer. What? Yes, I just said that on a podcast. Dag on it. What's the best... All right, more questions. Um, I don't know how to answer that one. That's a tough one. Sing a Luke Comb songs? Nope. I'm doing a live podcast where you're answering, you're asking me questions, and I'm and I am answering them. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is Mexican food, but I talk about that all the time. So most of you probably know that. Raleigh's rules don't count on this live podcast. <laughs> the guitar is beautiful. Well, thank you. Ooh, this is a great one. What's my favorite Bible verse? 1 John 4.10. I don't know a lot of Bible verses, but this one's my favorite. It says, this is love. Not that we love God, but God loved us. And I feel like that's a great reminder because I often feel guilty and I often feel like a failure because I'm not perfect and no one is. But um, it's a great reminder that God is the one that loves us It's not based on our ability to love him back. Um, So what's the best moment of your life? That's a hard question. Who is your favorite new country singer today? Country Music Lady 229 asks, who's your favorite new country singer today? Um, I would have to say Tennille Towns. I love Tennille Towns. I think she is so good, and I'm a big fan. What is your favorite color? You keep asking me that. Gracie, my favorite color is blue. I I did ask answer that earlier though. So let's see. Let's see. Guys, I need questions. Ooh, okay. PKN5 asks, Chipotle or Qdoba? Now this is gonna be an entire listen, we're filming this podcast right now. You guys are literally on my podcast. 
and um, we're filming this podcast, but I'm about to do one about why I think Chipotle is the best burrito place. Um, what are my goals for the future? Um, this is a good question. I want to be playing big clubs and theaters by the end of 2021. That is my goal, to be selling those out. Some of these are hard. Guys, I don't really know how to answer these. But listen, it's been it's been real. I think these are good. Oh, one more, one more. Um, how long have you been singing for? Uh, since I was about 17, I started singing in the car, and I was singing to John Mayer's record, Continuum. If you've not heard John Mayer's album, Continuum, go do that now. Um, it's really, 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 really good. Um did I have Smoothie King today? I did. I've had Smoothie King. This is a true story. Every day this week, I've had it. That's a lot of money. Maybe I shouldn't be spending all my money on Smoothie King. What is my dream state I want to live in? Um, probably the one, Tennessee. I love Nashville. What are the top three destinations you want to tour to? Ooh, I really want to go to New Zealand because I've just seen so many movies there that were shot that were just unbelievable. So I'd say New Zealand. That's I'm just going to take do one. Colvin4287 asks, do you want any kids? I do someday. I want to be a dad someday. Um, I hope they're, they're more, they're not as rebellious as I was. I was, a, if you ask my mom, I think she'd probably say I was pretty rebellious for a while. Um, Yeah, I like Michael Ray. He's a nice guy. I like him a lot. Oh, man, you're watching from Iran. There's a guy on here named Muhammad who's from Iran. That is so cool. What a what a crazy what a crazy life we live that someone from Iran can all the way across the world can watch um this live video. Okay, last question and we're done. Best best um show on television. All right, this one I can talk about for a while. <clears throat> but listen, Raleigh Keegan fans, the best show on television is The Office. I don't think it's even close. If you don't get The Office, then you don't understand my humor, number one. Number two, you just got to give it a second try if you don't get it. I think The Office is by far the best, the best characters the best character development, the funniest. It is so good. I probably watched The Office. How many times have you watched it, Nick? I've watched it seven times. Nick's watched The Office seven times through. I've probably watched The Office probably nine, 10, 11, just a ton of times through. The Office is the best show on television. Anybody want to fight me on that? Let's go fight. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you all. Um, until next time, this was a podcast episode. So thank you all for some live questions. If you have any more questions, you can just, um, DM me, message me on Instagram or Twitter and make sure to go onto YouTube or Apple podcasts and, uh, subscribe to Raleigh's roast. Cause you are just on an episode. Um, and until then Raleigh out, see y'all soon.